Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Hello everyone and welcome to JNR Exploration and Discovery. Today it is negative three degrees in the Ozarks. I'm out here right now. I unfortunately I cannot find my face covering that I needed, but I'm bundled up about as well as I uh, can be. Survival tips of the day. If you're gonna be out here in temperatures like this and they're gonna be dropping, by all means guys, get out there and have your entire have every part of your skin covered or as much as you possibly can because you can get frostbitten real easily and it's just something think about it this was a real type of survival situation and it is snowing out here right now we've been getting this is our time of the year to be getting a lot of this stuff up here in the ozark mountains think about what you would do to survive in this if you didn't have enough gear what could you do to make sh make sure that you could make sure that you're covered could you use outdoors a lot of things a lot of people don't think about is if they're out there in the woods in the middle of the night and it's starting to get cold and freeze they do not think about the aspects of taking a bunch of leaves and covering themselves up with that if you ever get lost out there in the woods and you don't have a blanket or anything and it's getting really cold use leaves use things like that to cover yourself up with that is all fantastic stuff use your vegetation leaves as cover use all kinds of different things for cover and that's just a basic one because there's usually leaves all over the place now if you're up there and it's snowfall you may have to change out around a little bit but the branches and the trees if they happen to be there there's a lot of makeshift ways of doing that obviously fire is going to be your friend and keeping that fire going Fires and temperatures like this and as wet as it is would be almost impossible to get going if you really wanted to try to start one. You'd have to really, really work at it. And that's why I say practice for the most difficult thing that you could think of. And that's why starting fires with wet wood is an important thing that you got to be able to do. Other things people don't think about in, <laughs> in these types of wet situations is if this was a blizzard it would be blowing in so fast and so hard that you couldn't even see in front of you so you really need to get out of that as fast as you can now a lot of people don't think about the aspects of their vehicles in this type of weather either and i'm talking about the aspect of just everyday vehicles and survival vehicles both now just think about how much damage even if you don't think it does, that it does to your engine just by starting up in cold weather like this and just taking off on it because the engine isn't warmed up, the fluids aren't flowing properly. So this like all the brake. I can't tell you how many people I know that used to do that out there where I used to work. They used to get in their vehicles, hop in them, and they'd be blowing out enough smoke. It would look like that they were diesel, <laughs> diesel vehicles, but they would take off in them and just boom, boom, up the road and everything. That is not smart show you guys this i wanted to show you guys i got my jeep out here running right now look at how much exhaust it's been running for about 10 minutes now look at how much exhaust this thing is still emitting right now this is after it's been running for about 10 minutes and it's still spitting out that much exhaust so that engine is still really trying to find its warm spot again it is negative three degrees out here today so it's insanely cool a lot colder than what we normally get Feels like we're over here in Antarctica. Of course, I know that gets like 40 or 50 below. This is pretty bad for us out here as well. Remember guys, frostbite can set in extremely easily in temperatures like this. So just be sure that you guys are staying prepared. You guys are keeping your gear on. I'm making this video today guys to show you guys just how bad it actually can get even in these negative temperatures, even with the vehicles and everything. And you gotta remember, they respond to feels like temperature the same way that we do feels like temperature guys so keep that in mind the next time that you just go out there and try to start up your vehicle and and whether like this even if you're not going anywhere go outside and start up your vehicle this is an old trick of old school mechanics stuff though 
But go out there and keep them stirred up, and that way if anything goes wrong, you know this batteries die very easily this time of the year out here in this type of weather. So guys, just keep all this in mind. Stay safe, stay warm. And if you do gotta get out, make sure that you're traveling with plenty of coats, plenty of blankets. A lot of people don't think about their cars breaking down. That is something that I really want to discuss in this video just for everyday type survival scenarios is, guys, your cars have got to have enough stuff in them. Carry blankets, carry extra jackets, a lot of people may think it's overkill to carry five or six coats. I don't. Carry as many blankets as you can. Keep all this in mind. This is just basic stuff. Carry some matches in case if you do break down on the side of the road. And for some reason, the weather is so bad that somebody can't come get you. You might have to get out of your vehicle and start a fire, especially if you're running really low on gasoline. Other key point of advice is... If you ever stuck somewhere don't ever shut your car off because it is extremely hard to restart it in these types of conditions this is just basic survival stuff for everyday use god bless each and every one of you i'm jared with general exploration and discovery subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads